Good afternoon, friends. Riding the bicycle on Edda's Hook, the natural sand spit that creates Port Angeles Harbor. There is a road that leads to the U.S. Coast Guard base, Coast Guard Group, and Air Station Port Angeles. It's a beautiful October day, taking advantage of the sunshine and uh, not much wind out here. This could be a real tough ride when the wind is up, but there's just barely a ripple of waves on the Strait of Juan de Fuca to our left. Might not be able to see that because it is behind the Armour Rock. The guy playing his electric guitar, Amplified. Lots of people enjoy the trail on the right and the waterfront trail that we're on right now. Hi there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a an oil tanker over on the right there, and it is blue. To the right of that is the MV Coho, which is on its way to Victoria on one of its runs each day between the provincial capital of British Columbia and the United States. We're moving along here about 14 miles an hour. Fiberglass utility poles lining at his hook. And we can see down toward the Coast Guard Station. The Navy has two of their support ships for submarines moored there. There's a Coast Guard cutter down there. The Puget Sound pilots, which are on this, the uh, civilian side, if you will, of Edis Hook. Beyond the, uh, that is the gate into the Coast Guard base.
the area here on the right used to be uh, full of potholes and it was a basically a four-wheel drive course but they've uh, revamped and uh, repaired some of the damage there and put in native vegetation and all these logs to return it to a more natural setting. They've done that in quite a few places along here, along at his hook. And this is just a great place for people to congregate. Fourth of July fireworks, if you want to brave the cold. People come out here to walk their dogs. Puget Pilots Base on the right, out over Port Angeles Harbor, and we'll see the gate for the United States Coast Guard Base just ahead. A big vehicle coming out of there right now. Close, but we're not going to go in there, of course. Oop, I better make my turn to get out of the way here. And now we're going against the wind, so you may hear a little wind noise. I was parked along here one time, looking out over the strait, had my window ajar, it was just before sunset, and I heard this enormous, <gasps> like somebody taking a huge breath, and it was uh, an orca, a couple of orcas swimming by out there, maybe a couple of hundred yards off of shore. Stop off here for the view for a moment. And I can get up here safely without wiping out. There I see a rock I can put my kickstand on. Tide is fairly high right now. You could not walk out on the beach out of here at present. And the ship is the MV Coho. On its way to Victoria. So directly ahead you can see the cities of Victoria and Esquimalt on southern Vancouver Island. 
and it's almost completely obscured, but over there is uh, San Juan Island in Washington State. Not very good visibility to the north today. And over behind us, the Olympic Mountains. <clears throat> From Blue Mountain to Klahani Ridge, Mount Angeles, Unicorn Peaks. And that is Baldy Ridge. Mount Baldy, Storm King, not at the end of it. And down, clear down past Edis Hook, the mouth of the Elwha River and uh, Tongue Point or uh, Striped Peak. So I'm not going to linger down here. Get back on the bike. We'll ride to the uh, west, back down at his hook. Adjust that camera just a bit. Where all the steam is coming off of at the base of Edis Hook is the McKinley Paper Mill. This radio mast here is City of Port Angeles Public Safety. They have the radios out here because there's so many dead spots. So many dead spots in Port Angeles and all the different valleys leading up towards the mountains that they have a better signal if it comes from out here on head of this hook. Well, I can guarantee you that car was not going the speed limit. And there's a nice little foot trail on the other side of the log here to the left. It allows you to get a little bit more rustic walk than being on this pavement. It's about a mile and a half from the Coast Guard gate base, uh, the Coast Guard base gate to the base of Edis Hook down here. And uh, it makes a nice three mile walk back and forth. On the left here, this semicircle driveway used to be for the log dump uh, that Log trucks would come along and uh, drop logs. They'd raft them up in the harbor.
sun going back behind a cloud a little bit, so you might have noticed the dimming of the light on the video. There's just a slight chance of rain, and some of these clouds to the west of us, straight ahead, they just might have a little bit of rain in them. I'm wearing raincoat and rain pants just in case. A little city park here on the left parking spots and I have to look back on the sign it says sail and paddle park this building here on the left they moved it from back about a quarter of a mile and uh, put it here it's where the Olympic Peninsula YMCA Rowing Association has their shelves So in order to get out of Edis Hook, you have to go through this paper mill here. That will give you a little bit more of a view through here, show you where the waterfront trail goes. But the sites are basically unremarkable through most of this trail down here on the waterfront because of it's leading through a, a uh, industrial area and does not go near the water. loud in there I'll tell you that kind of explains why a lot of mill workers don't have any hearing left even if you did wear protection now like they do Just right over here so we can look into the harbor for a moment.
almost took a wrong turn right there. There's a blind corner, so I have to be careful here. There we go. Oh, there is a bicycle here. Wow. Hi there. So I paid to go slow there. The old mill pond, the lagoon on the right across the road. There on the right, there used to be a, a free car wash that uh, log trucks would drive through and they used to allow people to run their cars through there and get a, get a little bit of a wash off. But that is long since gone. to that bench there but it really got clobbered with something so there's a tour of Edis Hook we got, took you through the uh, right of way through the McKinley paper mill in Port Angeles and it's been a beautiful day glad to show you around a little bit good to talk to you all thank you very much for subscribing for your likes, for your comments. And until we meet again next time, my friends, so long.